and they moved around a lot. So, um, they was in Baltimore, then they went to Philly, then they made it up to New York. And then they said that um, Billy's uh, mom used to cook a, a real good food uh, for her musician friend. So, they used to um, have a lot of dinners after the um, the uh, her her um, nightly performances. I guess you could say that. It says she was real friendly. Then she had like a lot of bad relationships and stuff like that. And uh, someone said it in the documentary that most of these time uh, people was um, using her. Um, she started back in the thirties, like. 39 or something, 35 or something like that. Because she was born in um, 1915. Her and Carmen McCraig shared the same birthday. I can't remember which what day her birthday is on, but Carmen McCraig did say that. Um, and then Carmen McCraig also said that uh, Billy really w w wasn't a singer. Um... I find that kind of hard to uh, believe, but I mean, at the beginning, I don't think nobody is really. I mean, she, you, she, because they said when she was little, she used to, you know, sing around the house and on the street, you know, um, sitting on the stoop and stuff like that. That she always used to sing, so. You know, you start sticking at a young age, um, you basically, um, you know, if it's something you want to do, um, uh, she, um, they said she, um, worked in brothels and stuff like that, and she was singing. Then sometimes she would sing with a live band, or she would just sing with the records and stuff like that, and she was making tips and stuff, and that's how, um, she was making money and stuff like that. So, I believe she's a pretty good um, singer. And then it's like one album is um, Lady in Satin. That's the album that they say that uh, everybody um, really loves. And then going back to Carmen McCraig, she had said that her voice wasn't that great. Um, so, I don't know. But I listened to the album, a couple songs, and they were they were really good. I liked them and stuff like that. Um, the next person that I'm going to start um, researching is uh, Donna Washington and um, uh, Cindy Burson. So, those are people I've been, like, watching lately. You know, because we got, we got all this time on our hands, so you're able to watch a lot of stuff. And I had the lady um, laughing at the doctor's office. She, you know, she asked me something about the quarantine. And I told her, you know, that I had watched a lot of movies and stuff like that. And I said that um, I could be a, a director or whatever. And we, you know, both uh, laughed about that and stuff like that. But the documentaries, um, a lot of people said that they loved Billie Holiday. And she had a lot of people that loved her. Um, so, you know, basically, you know, I, they were saying at one time that she had died of a drug overdose. But basically, she had a bad heart, so... I kind of know what she feels about that because I have an issue with my heart. So, but after all, I mean, I watched them on YouTube. So, they were pretty, uh, what, I watched um, The Longing of uh, Billy Holiday and uh, uh, Many Faces of Billy Holiday. So, I watched those two documentaries. And then um, today, I found one on uh, one on Donna Washington, stuff like that. I can't remember where she was born or anything like that, but... She seems very interesting, too, because I know um, uh, my mom used to listen to um, Donna Washington. I remember the album she had. I can't think of the title of the album, but she, uh, I know it was a song she had out called uh, What a Difference a Day Made. I remember my mom playing that. So that's basically going on. I'm not going to stay here long because I got uh, my show's about to come on. I know it's like, what? two o'clock in the morning or something like that, but I'm going to, uh, watch, um, the Housewives at three. <laughs>